Today in this module, we're going to go through JumpCloud's LDAP as a service. In order to configure LDAP for your JumpCloud organization, you'll first need to log into your JumpCloud administrator account. Once logged in, you can select the Directories tab via the admin menu on the left-hand side. In the Directories pane, you'll want to click on the green plus button in the top left and select JumpCloud LDAP. The JumpCloud LDAP pane will slide in from the right-hand side, allowing you to begin configuring your LDAP module. On the Details tab, this is where you can see the LDAP Instances Org DN, or Distinguished Name, for your org. You'll notice that the O value is your JumpCloud organization's ID. Under LDAP Configuration, you can also choose to enable Samba authentication via LDAP as well via the checkbox. We will cover Samba in another tutorial module, and we'll keep it unchecked in this tutorial video for now. The second tab, User Groups, allows you to add different user groups to have LDAP access meaning that you are granting the ability to users inside of these selected bound user groups to authenticate to either applications or NAS devices via LDAP or Secure LDAP. Lastly, the third tab, Users, allows you to select individual users to be able to authenticate to NAS devices or applications via LDAP. By binding individual users, you can also select which users can be your LDAP bind DN. In order for JumpCloud's LDAP to allow for NAS devices or applications authentication, you'll need to set up an LDAP bind DN account. We recommend this to be a user within JumpCloud that is not an actual employee and used more so like a generic admin or service account user within JumpCloud. Finally, once you're ready to save the configurations for your LDAP instance, hit the Save button in the bottom right of the JumpCloud LDAP panel. That's it! You've taken your first steps towards configuring JumpCloud LDAP in your company's environment. 